Hey everybody, it's me, Stu Helm, the Food Fan here at Food Fan Headquarters, and I have another special guest in my salad series. I'm doing a series of interviews with salad enthusiasts because I myself am trying to eat more salads. And today my guest is one Savvy Rain. Hey Savvy, how's it going? Good morning, top of the morning. I'm great, Stu. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thanks for coming on so early. For those who are listening later, it's now 11 o'clock in the morning. First Woo! thing. Yeah. Crack of dawn <laughs> here in Asheville, North Carolina. That's how we do. Um, so how you been, Savvy? I've been great. Um, things are looking up these days. You know, working at Rabbit Rabbit, Asheville proper. The vibes are high. Um, speaking of proper, there's a mixed green salad there that I eat regularly. And it is fabulous. It's got the crunch. It's got the cheese. The accoutrements vary from week to week based on what's fresh but it's fabulous. And sometimes there's a grilled frisee salad there. And that one is my favorite. Um, so you, you're jumping right into the salad <laughs> reviews. Like, boom, right out of the gate, Stu, no chit chat, let's talk salad. <laughs> so first of all, let's just say that Savvy, I've known you for a, a little while now, since before the pandemic times, we met when you were bartending at the Aloft Hotel. And that's I was starting right, that's hotel, right. And we became friends. <laughs> And these days you're working at the Asheville proper and that's who you're talking about right now. That's a restaurant, uh, old fashioned steakhouse in the Grove Arcade. Um, all right, so we've got the, the house salad or was it called the garden salad? A uh, mixed greens. Mixed green salad. Um, and so that comes with, you said, different accoutrements. Um, mm -hmm. Usually and a tallow crouton and that's kind of what makes it for me. Okay. So, I'm so awful with like small talk. I'm like, ah! that's okay. Uh, I just wanted to set it up a little bit for the audience because I want um, them to go check out the proper. And you told me right before the show that we, you have a list of your top five salads in town. So I'm excited to get to that. That's why I'm recording these segments is to try to get those, those tips on where to get those salads. So let's get back into help. it. I'll cut you loose. You're, you're unchained now. Uh, you were about to tell us about the freezy salad, I believe, at the proper. Yes, the frisee salad. Um, so they do it over the fire a little bit. It does touch the fire. Um, it's this beautiful little bouquet of frisee. And um, the last time it was on, there was like this spread of goat cheese on the bottom, some nuts, strawberries, and like a vinegary type dressing. Um, and it's amazing. There's a lot of crunch factor with that one, which I love. I think for salad enjoyers in general, um, we know disappointment because most salads suck, you know? Oh. And then a salad that doesn't suck is a feat in itself. Yeah, um, okay. So well, that's good for me to know a person who doesn't eat a lot of salads. Like, yeah. it's good to know that salad fans a salad fan at least is recognizing that some salads suck and i should say right now savvy that's as far as we go with the four letter words on this show because it does get broadcast on the radio and it's usually me it's usually me that's accidentally dropping f-bombs but i thought i should catch you right I was now wondering about that i was like hmm <laughs> yeah if it was just a podcast we'd be swearing our heads off but because it goes out on public radio we got to keep it uh pg all right that's as far as i'll go yeah we can say <laughs> things suck so <laughs> some salads suck but that frisee salad and thanks for pronouncing it properly i always call it freezy and then i like sound freezy. like that's Freezy. cute. Yeah, I'm like a little kid with that. But no, the, your frise salad sounds amazing. And I, it sounds like uh, touch to the fire is a term you guys use at the proper. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Most things in there pass over the fire, okay. um, especially the steaks, obviously, and most of the um, vegetables. Right. Yeah, I think I've very had... Sweet. I think I've had asparagus there over the fire. It was delicious. Yum. Love the asparagus. Yeah. Okay, so those are two salads at the proper you've you've blown up are those in your top five are those like part of your list uh, and it's okay to have two separate lists your work list and then your personal life list yeah yeah so that would um i do have a separate top five just from like experience in town and what i've um come to love and enjoy throughout the years okay um, starting with the homegrown kale caesar salad um that's a fan favorite yeah, this one is just incredible. I love the fried chicken or the grilled chicken on it. You can't really go wrong. Um, and I think with Caesars, um, it's especially easy to make them um, 
not be as good. <laughs> and, uh, you know. And um, why is that? Why do you suppose that is? Because there's like a formula and people just follow it and then it's boring? Right, definitely. Or okay. there's just like, it's lacking in flavor or it'll be, you know, if it's supposed to be romaine, it might be a little icebergy. Um, right. That's where I think the kale kind of like, livens it up a little bit i know a kale caesar isn't even technically a caesar at that point but um we're I allowed really to have fun. that one yeah we're allowed <laughs> to have fun we can have yeah, a right? kale caesar right what do you hate fun let me have a kale caesar yeah um but yeah there's these giant pieces of parmesan in the salad huge fun croutons um and yeah usually if i'm feeling saucy i'll get the fried chicken the grilled chicken is like a safe bet too for me the dressing, though, is what kind of makes it for me as well, though, combined with the kale. It's very, like, it's got that bitterness, crunch, and then the creamy, like, saltiness of the dressing. It's fabulous. That, that was a great. favorite for me, for sure. Say that again, I'm sorry. Because I live right next to it. Sorry, okay. what? No, that was, I stepped on your line, and I was just asking you to repeat it. Oh, gotcha. Did you get it? Yeah, you live right near Homegrown, and that's perfect. I used to live near Homegrown, too. I was eating there at least once a week, and I always got the fried chicken, mashed potatoes, and broccoli. That was my go-to. Um, and Homegrown, for those listening, is up there on Merriman Ave. It's an old-school Asheville favorite, been around for a long, long time now. And I just ate there the other day and had a fabulous meal. So it's been around a long time. It's still awesome. And you've got two Asheville locals here telling you so. That's right. Yeah. Check it out, guys, for sure. Get that Kale Caesar or All the right. Blue Special, like Stew. <laughs> What's going on next? Let's see. We got the um, another Merriman Avenue. This one's kind of an underdog, in my opinion. Um, Del Vecchio's Greek Interesting. Salad. Interesting. It's insanely good. It's, first of all, it's massive. Okay. And you got all the little, you got all the veggies in this one. You got the pepperoncini, the red onion, the cucumber, tomato you name it and the grilled chicken there too is just like so juicy and fabulous um i think it must be like a tenderloin or something okay based on the cut of it maybe but and it's huge and the okay. salad the vecchios all come with a little um garlic knot which is oh, you know points cool. in my book for that yeah yeah bonus little bonus round for that and that's <laughs> that is a surprise Del Vecchio's is basically a pizza joint, right? But of, yes. it, of course, a pizza joint should have a great Greek salad or traditional Italian salad. True. An antipasta, something like that. And if they're lacking on those things, in my opinion, they're lacking as a pizza parlor, right? Like you got to cover Definitely. all your You got to have a combo. It's a marriage. It is. It is. <laughs> pizza, the sandwiches the entrees the salads they're all equally important in a pizza Definitely. place so shout out to del vecchio's up there on merriman ave all right we shout got three, three more all salads right. left on your list what's next savvy we got the um all day darling hearty salad i love 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 all day darling um the vibes are immaculate everything i've ever had there tastes amazing um but one thing i have consistently gotten over the years is this um, hearty salad. And I think that's a kale base too. It's got like um, pepitas in there. Um, fun little, you know, various veggies. But the thing that like really knocks it out of the park with the hearty salad for me is these fried cheese cubes that look like cr croutons, but this like the spongy like cheese curdy almost like texture throughout the salad. And it's absolutely fabulous. That one, in my opinion, doesn't even need meat but the fried chicken at all day darling pairs amazingly with it i've definitely done that before and it's gluten-free okay. which is incredible shout out to all cheese day croutons so not dairy free but gluten free that's right <laughs> yes and all day darling is up there on merriman ave uh old time Asheville people might remember it as tots tasties that's a right a bit of a name change and it was a different name way before that before i moved to town um and uh it's a great little spot like one i love all the garlic. yeah the it's food so is cute. really good the coffee is excellent and uh that salad sounds fantastic and i noticed now that we're like in the middle of your salad list that you you're skewing towards your kale salads a little bit you like yourself a kale salad i do and, and savvy i gotta love you because you've said chicken at every salad and I love chicken. It's my favorite. 
and it I'm, doesn't yeah. get its props, man. And a chicken, I mean, around here it gets its props. Everybody's crazy for fried chicken. Right? It's not true. I, it's definitely the go-to protein for me. Yeah. I love a good salmon Caesar too. Mm -hmm. Definitely blackened salmon, if possible, or just blackened fish with a Caesar yep. is a fun experience for me. I haven't, I haven't got had one of those in a hot minute though. Well, I hope that this conversation is, is inspiring you for future salads. Go on the hunt now. I'll yeah, come back yeah. with another. All right, you've got two more. What do you got for us? So um, next, I have this one's super random, but. Um, definitely very tasty so this one is like more of a side salad more of like a little um side item type of deal it's at the yum sushi burrito place downtown okay and it's like this spicy crab salad all right it's fabulous it's just like a pile of like spicy crab salad over a bed of lettuce and some carrots cabbage various stuff eat it with some chopsticks it's amazing um it's got a little bit of protein in there from the crab and it's like small. So if I'm like on my way to work and I want mm -hmm. something fresh and not heavy at all, um, I'll grab that. I love that place for that. That sounds awesome. And just yesterday we were talking about Yum. Somebody brought it up as one of their go-to places. They work downtown. No way. Yeah, it's popular. So I, and I hope it gets more popular. It's in kind of a tough location. It's right across yeah. from the bus station in a very nondescript apartment building, um, right up against the sidewalk. There's no foliage around it or anything so it's a little bit of a hardcore location it's on ashland ave i believe is that is definitely that right, right. yeah and you're thirsty monk yes and so great i've had great experiences at yum and it seems to be a favorite of the people who work downtown so i hope that's Yay, that makes me happy that's oh, good. good yeah yeah all right exciting we're down to the last one what do you got all right for my us, last Debbie? one my last one is near and dear to my heart um I don't drink much these days, but I have gone through phases of like wild drunkenness, um, you know, <laughs> just like with the best of us, of course. Yeah. And this salad came through and um, saved me multiple times okay. in, that, in that time period. So I got to shout out the Vault Burger Salad. All right. The Vault, that is the perfect place to drink off a hangover. Yeah, definitely. The Vault Burger Salad. Um, it's fabulous. You got the bitter arugula. Might wake you up a little bit, if, you know, if you are drunk. Um, uh -huh. <laughs> um, the fat, from work. <laughs> yeah, the fat from the cheese, you know, and the um, burger itself is delightful, of course. And um, yeah, I was also, I tr I do have some gluten sensitivity issues. I'm not completely celiac so when i started getting that i was like when i was like being very strict like no bread no bread um but i ended up really just enjoying that salad on its own and a burger salad in general is kind of just a fun experience it's like a deconstructed burger basically yeah so let, me, let me ask you some questions about this one because i've never had it well first let me set it up by saying that the vault burger is the all-time best award-winning burger in Asheville. It's everybody's favorite. It won the Battle of the Burger year after year with both the public and the judges. I've been a judge at the Battle of the Burger more than a couple of times. I've handed Naturally. it to the vault. And uh, it is the basic vault burger is fantastic. So here's a version of it that's a salad now. So my question is, do they take the patty and chop it up for the salad or is it ground beef or how do they handle that? No, well, it's actually just the hamburger. It literally looks like the burger without the bun kind of, it's all just um, sitting there. Like the patty is still in a circle. Okay. Um, it's not like mixed up or anything. It's kind of just stacked. Okay. And then um, you can kind of choose your own adventure with that. If you want to chop it up or if you're, um, or if you're totally like, you know, not even able to function, you just grab the patty. <laughs> <laughs> Stab it with a fork and start eating it from the edge out in. That's so true. I'm trying to think if there's anyone I forgot. I'm really glad I remembered the yum um, crab salad because that one is really, really like um, underrated in my opinion. Well, you've given us a terrific, like awesome overview of salads in Asheville. Like that is a great list because it's varied. It, it includes places like Del Vecchio's and Yum. It has a varied 
degree of salads, like ones you could go veg with, ones that you could probably go vegan with, others where you add chicken, and then there's one that's a straight up hamburger salad. <laughs> um, so I think you've given a terrific overview of salads here in Asheville, Savvy. And plus, you mentioned yeah. what sound like two really fun salads at Asheville proper. That's right. Come see me at the bar. Yeah. I'll be there this evening. Um, and what was I going to say? Ooh, I just had it. Uh oh. Come back. I talked. Oh about yeah. Well, um, as a girl, I'm usually a girl on the go. You uh-huh. know, I don't really like. Um, I'm usually like if I'm eating out, it's I'm usually just grabbing something by myself. Um, so I do get to experience a lot of different places, especially downtown. Mm-hmm. Um. And yeah, like I mentioned earlier, finding a salad that meets all your criteria, because you're never going to get full just eating leaves, you know, you're going to need I'm going to quote you on that. You're You're going to need some substance there. And so, you know, you got to, when you find some place that cares about what's on top of the salad, it's like, yep, you have me. That's great. You have my full attention. Well, Savvy, you've been awesome today. That was uh, one of the best lists. I'm not just blowing smoke. One of the best lists I've ever done on the show or even heard about the Asheville food scene. No way! For sure. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and steal your list and give you credit for it and publish it in my newsletter. I love that. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me. Sure thing. You were a great guest and I appreciate you being here and maybe I'll have you back to talk salads again. Salads part sure. two. Salad. I'm going to go um, find a blackened fish Caesar. <laughs> I, I, well, I, I have a recommendation for you. I went right next door to you at Huli Sue's Barbecue. They do a fish taco salad and you can get Ooh. it with grilled, deep fried or blackened fish. And I had it the other day with blackened fish. It's basically like it has, it has rainbow cabbage coleslaw with a creamy ranch style dressing Yum. and then the blackened fish on top with salsa and jalapenos and crispy torn t- corn tortillas. Yum. Yes. I love a good Southwest vibe too. Yes. So oh, it has corn and beans as well. So that's my recommendation to you right next door to where you work. Cool. Maybe I'll have that for dinner tonight. Ooh, let me know how you like it. <laughs> 10 four. Thank you so All much. Right. All right, Savvy. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Peace and love. Bye.